Hello everybody, Ben Austin here, your new rules golf coach. And today we're going to take a look at one of the shots that is going to be needed to be played over at the British Open. So, in case you're not familiar, the British Open is going to be over in Scotland this year at Muirfield. Um, some may say that Muirfield is kind of the home of golf. And one of the things that really separates the golf over in, over in the British Opens is the amount of wind that these guys have to play with. So generally there's going to be a lot of wind and people are going to need to be able to hit the ball very low and run it up there. So there was recently a article on golf.com and they said that Tiger was playing a hole and it was slightly downwind and he hit his four iron 285 yards. So Imagine you can hit a 4-iron 285 yards, you probably wouldn't have much of a need to hit a driver. So, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of people teeing off with some irons, some low irons, trying to keep the ball really low. And the purpose of this video is not really to dissect Tiger's swing, but to show you a couple of things that he's doing here when he's hitting this. So, I'm sure you're all familiar with the term of Tiger's stinger, and this is what this is. So, Tiger plays a two iron, and when he hits this shot, I want you to watch how low this golf ball stays, for how long it stays. So if you look at that right there, that ball's probably 50 yards out already, and look at where that ball is. I mean, it's only a couple feet off the ground. I mean, it's crazy low. So... I imagine this shot here, it probably is only getting about this high. It might even be it might even be less than that, but it is extremely low. Now what's the purpose of that? The purpose of hitting a low shot like that is to keep it down under the wind so that the wind the ball doesn't balloon on you or go way up. So he's keeping it very low. And when that ball hits the ground, it's going to run a long way. Now that 285 yards that Tiger hits a 4-iron, that's not carry, that's with roll. So these guys are going to practice this week trying to figure out not only how far is the ball going to carry, but how far is the ball going to roll. So let's look at a couple things Tiger's doing. First off, you can see that Tiger might be standing a little bit closer to this ball than normal. Normally he may, may be another inch or two away from the ball. So he's standing a little bit closer than normal. Now this little move right here, this little this little squat that people always talk about, it's funny to me because you hear people on, you know, TV like Johnny Miller and them talk about, oh, he didn't keep his level. Well, actually that little, that little drop is actually a very good thing. But that's for another video. But anyway, let's take a look at when Tiger is actually hitting this ball. So you can see that his body's fairly open. Now it's hard to see from this angle, but his he's getting that shaft to lean pretty far forward as he's doing this. But the one thing that most people think about when they when you think about hitting the ball low is you would think that you really have to hit down. So I see it very often where people try to hit the ball low and they just take monster divots because they're trying to hit it really low. But watch when Tiger hits this and notice the divot. There's barely a divot. So he's not hitting down a tremendous amount. I'd say he's hitting down very lightly, you know, very little. So he's hitting down very little. He's got the shaft leaning forward which is going to produce a low starting ball flight without a lot of rise. So it's just a very good shot there. And one of the things that you'll see a lot of over at Muirfield this week at the British is watch Tiger's follow through here. See how it's a little more abbreviated. And that's because he's trying to get his hands out in front of the ball a little bit more than normal. But you're going to see a lot of this this week, and just wanted to show you some of the things to possibly work on. So 
If you want to work on some knockdown shots, staying a little bit closer to the ball. Try to get the club out in front with very little divot. So don't work on deep divots if you're trying to hit the ball low. Try to get the divots really small. And uh, maybe you can hit a two iron this high. But if not, there's a lot of good teachers that could hopefully at least explain it to you. But hope you guys have a good week. Enjoy the British Open. And uh, it's going to be a good time. I'll see you soon. Ben Austin here.